Here are your options for lights. Ah oh, yes, the F600 gauge cluster. Isn't it awesome? Just look at it. For a few guys who have clicked on this video, you guys are wanting to know information on the F600 gauge cluster. The information I will be doing today will be LED related and also stock gauge related. So I won't be replacing any of the, the stock gauges or anything. I will talk a little bit about finding the, the speedometer, but I, I am not adding anything to either side of these. So with that being said, this is 1967 and this style goes all the way to 79 in the F500 and up series trucks of the 60s and 70s. All right, this is just a video of me busting into the F600 gauge cluster for those that need to see it, a good reference. There are four screws up front there. It's a good time to replace these, they're rusty. Why I'm busting into it, I'll tell you in a second here. When you finally remove the gauge cluster from the panel, be careful because that glass can fall out. Chances are it's stuck there because it's been there for so long and not touched, but watch out, that glass could fly out. This is a good time to check out the gauges. So why I busted into it was that when I turned on my lights, my left signal light, I'll put up a pic, it leaked light from the gauge lights. So when I turned on the light, it looked like my left signal light was staying on, but like half dim. So I wanted to get in there and fix that problem. And that's what I'm doing, trying to find out where that light's coming in at. Also a good time to clean the glass. I can already see my fingerprints. This would also be a good time to paint it as well, that black panel. There is the channel, I guess I'll call it, that channels the light from your signal light to the front of your dash so that uh, you have the indicator. These are the two different type of speedometers that I mentioned in another video about uh, more in depth about the F600 gauge cluster. So most of these gauge clusters stay pretty clean, but some of these have been sitting in fields for a while. So it's probably good to bust into these to make sure everything is all right. Alrighty, there you have it. Uh, that's how you bust into your F F600 gauge cluster. Pretty straightforward, all of you guys can do it. Uh, this would be a good reference for you to look at. And it's really easy to change out all of the gauges. Alrighty, next up, let's look at them LEDs. All the options we have for our F600 gauge cluster. A member on Ford or 400 World recommend who's, uh, when it comes to the LED bulbs, is, uh, I'll just call him a professional. Here are your options for lights. Uh, these right here are the normal bulbs, and they are the T1895. Uh, and then of course, here are the two LED types. Um, there's probably more than one. There are more than two LED types. One's brighter than the other. Past, I've ran this type, which is sort of like a single uh, LED. And then of course there's this type, which is like super bright. And uh, you re I really didn't have any issues with either of these. This type I used in my high beams and my signal and it worked really well. And you know, and I'm basically upgrading to these to light up my gauges. And I plan on going these as well in signal. So why not, you know? You really can't tell here and that's okay but it actually tells you right here what wires. Orange and black with white stripes. I mean, it, it tells you here as well. And obviously you won't have that issue with the circuit board style. These two holes, well, they run the lights, so they light up all of the instruments. Up here, these two are the signals. And this one right here would be your high beams. There you go. You guys got the uh, rough version of how to install this, so. Yeah, let's get those LEDs in and uh, I'll show you the comparison between just normal cheap LEDs, fancy smancy LEDs in these. So quick view of the before, you can kind of see that light leading through on my signal. Plus I think one of the lights were out. Step one is to remove the steering wheel, it makes it a heck of a lot easier and hopefully you don't have that rally pack I do. Four screws on the bottom, four screws on the top. Once removed, I recommend using these diagrams to locate your wires that are running power to your light. Links are in the description. Once you do that, I recommend getting a multimeter, checking each housing, and hopefully you'll get somewhere around 11 to 12 volts. I had an average between eight and 11. These are the bulbs I'm using, LEDs. Green is for flashers, red is for high and low beams. I had a choice between blue and white, as you can see here. I also recommend testing them by grounding them out on the back panel. Don't forget to test your high and low beams as well as signals. Once everything's in, oh, you don't have to completely reinstall your bezel, 
but uh, turn off the lights and make sure that everything is working. Here's the before. You guys can see what I said before, what's bleeding through, and the after. There was no modifications and it was super easy. Highly recommend running LEDs even on a non-F600 gauge cluster. Thanks guys. So yeah, comment down below if there's some things that I missed or if there's some information to sort of add on to things that I mentioned. Because information is what I'm wanting to get out there to other classic car owners, other bump owners that are doing modifications like this. Uh, it's super easy modification, highly recommended. I've had this for years now, love it, haven't had any issues with it. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. As always, I hope it was informative to you. Just thank you for watching these videos and sharing them. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Please like and hit the bell icon as as I am constantly pumping out more videos on modifications of different classes, especially this one, uh, performance parts, add-ons, reviews of uh, certain parts. If you're on Facebook, head on over to Ford F100 World. There's also Build It Your Way, Ford F100 World, and also a couple other groups along the way, like Steel Beauties, for those of us that like all classics. Join up with the other 100,000 plus collective membership of throughout all the groups and social medias, and share the information that you have and have found along the way. Definitely keep this uh, community growing, and head on over to FordF100World.com, uh, where a lot of these videos are at, as well as other information and community info. So yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Thanks again. See ya.